What is cannibalism? Easiest answer is when humans eat human flesh. This term is derived from a Spanish word cannibales for the Carib, which is a West Indies tribe well known for its practice of cannibalism. It is a globally claimed but a rarely documented behavior. So are there cannibals today? Yes, there are and people resorting to this behavior have various reasons to justify the human flesh eating habit. A wide range of motivations are used to explain modern day cannibalism, ranging from psychosis, take for example the story of the boy that had discovered the deep desire to consume human flesh, to warfare, medicine or funerary ritual. Shipwreck and plane crashes can also lead to survival cannibalism. But what about our ancestors? Were they cannibals too? The answer is again yes. Around 900,000 years ago, in what is now called Spain, the human relative Homo antecessor hunted and ate others of their kind, leaving behind the oldest known evidence of cannibalism. Because of this, this species was also called the oldest human cannibals. But they weren't the only human species to indulge in this behavior. Human bones bearing marks of butchery, including human tooth marks, cut marks, and fractures to expose the marrow, are considered as evidence of cannibalism among Neanderthals and among early modern humans who lived in Spain 800,000 years ago, while evidence of cannibalism in modern humans is scanned and dates back to only 15,000 years. Evidence of cannibalism by the Neanderthals were also seen in fossils retrieved from the Goya Caves of Belgium, which were probably the first unambiguous evidence of Neanderthal cannibalism in Northern Europe. Another dig is in the Baume Moula Guercy, a small cave in the Rhone Valley in southern France, where in the 1990s the remains of six Neanderthals were found with telltale signs of cannibalism. When the bones were dug and examined, researchers started tracing them back and found that the time of the bones were overlapping with one species only, and that is the Neanderthals, which led to a conclusion that they ate their fellow beings. Another finding was documented in a paper by Natural History Museum researcher Sylvia Bello. This gave us information about evidence of ritualistic cannibalism. One example is of the Goffs Cave Dick in Somerset, England. The site is only 14,700 years old and held the remains of five consumed individuals. It appeared that while the rest of the bodies were eaten, the skulls were cleaned of flesh, preserved and carefully modified to make skull caps. Some of our ancestors were actually cannibals, but the exact reason has remained a bit of a mystery. Some say they ate human flesh because it was easier to hunt in comparison to hunting animals considering them as a high-ranked prey type where a lot of food can be obtained at a low cost and with very little effort. Some say it was a sort of survival strategy when food resources were limited due to the climate change in the later years. While some others say they resorted to this behavior as a part of some social and cultural rituals although the latter makes more sense since studies carving up the human body showed that while humans provided a moderately nutritious meal, there were other animals that packed far more calories per bite or that could give more than three times the calories any human could. Other instances may include individuals being eaten when they died of natural causes or that it might have been linked to fight for territory or territorial defense. To sum up, we can say that this indulgent in human flesh was probably more often practiced as a choice rather than for survival with each episode of prehistoric cannibalism undoubtedly having had its own complex reason for occurring. So in the end, we can say that it wasn't just about the meat, because there isn't enough evidence to pick a reason. Knowing the fact that some of our recent ancestors even buried their dead makes it all the more confusing as to why would they give in to such an act. The number of confirmed cases of cannibalism is also very low which suggests that it was just as much as a taboo as it is today. But what do you think? Let us know your opinions and thoughts and suggestions for upcoming videos in the comment section down below. 
Do not forget to check out our other videos on human species and support us by liking our videos and subscribing to the channel. See you soon in our next video.